Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelly and I am a physical therapist. I specialize in oncology, lymphedema, and women's health. I'd say the number one thing I get asked on a daily basis is, is it safe to exercise or when am I safe to exercise after my breast cancer surgery? There's a fear and anxiety about movement. Are you gonna hurt something? Are you gonna pull something? What is safe? So in this video, I'm gonna share the gentle exercise routine that I give the women that I work with and my patients so that you can help ease back into your exercises. This video is gonna specifically be the really gentle, easy place to start. I am gonna make another video on more moderate or progressions of these exercises. So if you feel like you go through these and they're way too easy, make sure that you subscribe down below so you can follow along and see when that next video comes out. Before you start any of these, make sure you talk to your surgeon or your doctor so you know when it is safe for you specifically to start exercising again. So first off, exercises after surgery need to start gentle. The first 10 to 14 days, you really just want to take it easy. You want to avoid repetition or a lot of movement because we don't want to cause a seroma, which is just a pocket of fluid that can happen if you exercise too quickly. And we don't want to open any of the incision sites up. If you have your drain still and you don't want to be raising your arms over your head, so be sure to wait until that they are removed or talk to your surgeon for personal guidance. We want to start by focusing on getting your pain down with gentle movement, getting your range of motion back so you can reach over your head, help improve your posture, because if you have this long term, you're going to cause more shoulder or back issues. If you have any pain during any of these movements or exercises, make sure you scale back or cut that exercise out completely. So the first gentle exercise is just looking at your neck movement. Your upper trap muscle, which is attaches to the base, kind of where your hairline is, goes down your neck and down out toward the side of your shoulders. After surgery, things get a little tight in the front. And so we want to make sure that we're getting these areas stretched out and moved too. So you can just do neck rotation where you look one way, feel a gentle stretch down across the front and then the other way. And same thing, you should feel this almost down into the front. I gently go back and forth, just pausing for a second or two. If you feel like you need to stretch, you can hold a couple seconds longer, but otherwise going back and forth about 10 times. The next exercise is doing gentle shoulder rolls. So you're gonna bring your shoulders up towards your ears, back and down and around. When you go back and down, you may feel a gentle stretch across your chest. This is pretty light, but it gets some movement, gets some blood flow in the pec area where the surgical site is. So doing about 10 repetitions, large circles all the way around. You can go either direction if you want. That is just fine. The next exercise is doing more scapular squeezes, as we call it. Again, the number one thing that I see is that women will get tightness in the front of their chest, so their shoulders will come forward from tightness from surgery, from swelling, and really just guarding patterns. But we also get into these bed postures from work, from being on our phones, our iPads, our laptops, and so we wanna make sure that we're opening up the chest wall so we can get this area gently stretched out. So I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see me, but what we're gonna do is a gentle scapular squeeze. So I'm going to pull my shoulder blades back in together. I'm thinking about taking my elbows and pulling them back behind me. So I'm squeezing back and, and then relaxing and then squeezing back for a couple seconds and then letting go. And just doing a few of these throughout the day can help again very gently, very slowly starting to get some activity and movement in that chest area. The next exercise we can do are wall walks. Now you're gonna need a wall or a door frame and we're just going to gently reach up the wall until you feel a gentle stretch. Now, if you feel a lot of pull or a lot of strain during any of this, you wanna make sure you scale back. When you feel this, it's just gonna be really mild, maybe moderate in pull and then come back down. And we're gonna go up and down 10 times. So I'm gonna turn my back so you can see me and put your hand on the wall and this slide up and then back down. Excuse 
and you're gonna go through that about 10 times. So the next exercise is gonna be a bent over row. So you can start without weight again or find a one or two pound weight, or like I do, you can find a soup can, whatever works well for you. And you're gonna find a surface like the countertop or the back of the couch like I do, and use it to lean on. So going up to your couch or surface, you're going to rest your forearm on top of it, and you're going to bend over so your back is as flat and as parallel as you can make it to the ground. If you have any back issues, you don't have to go that far, that's fine. But whatever you can tolerate forward, with that arm just hanging down towards your side with the weight in your hand, and then you're going to pull that hand towards the side where your armpit is. So you're gonna lift straight up, feeling that shoulder blade squeeze back, and then control down. Pull straight back and down. It's kind of like pulling a lawnmower to start, pulling up and down. Just making sure that when you get to here, it's not just your arm, but you're squeezing that shoulder blade back and together when you get to the top. Doing about 10 repetitions of that, control on the way down, and then again, you can repeat on the other side. So the next exercise you're gonna do is what we call scapular protraction and retraction. These muscles are around your shoulder blade area and they help pull your shoulder blade back and down to bring your shoulder in a better alignment and avoid that forward posture. So you're gonna lay on your back and with your arms straight up towards the ceiling, you're going to punch up towards the ceiling, keeping your elbow straight and your head relaxed and then you can relax back down and then you're gonna punch back up. Holding for a second or two and then back down. So up and down, punch up and down. So the next exercise is a bicep curl. We wanna start with no weights or if you feel comfortable, a pound or two is just fine. If you don't have a weight around, you can go ahead and look for a soup can or you can get something a little bit heavier if you're ready, like a water bottle. Otherwise, find an object around your house that you can do that feels about a pound or two. So stepping back so you can see me, I have my soup can in my hand and what we're gonna do is you're going to bend your elbow, bringing your arm up towards your shoulder and then back down. So all the way up, all the way down, keeping your elbow at your side. Turn so you can see me, you bring it all the way up and then control on the way down. And doing about 10 repetitions with that slow controlled up and down and you can go ahead and do both sides if you would like. Once you've doing a couple pounds, we wanna increase slowly, so add a pound or two a week until you get up to the weight that you're comfortable with. So those are gentle exercises that you can start with to help ease into movement after your breast cancer surgery. They should be light, they should be gentle. If you have any concerns, make sure you step back and talk to your doctor. But if you feel like they were easy and you're ready for more, be sure to subscribe and watch for the next video on more moderate progressions that you can work towards. Also subscribe for more topics and videos on oncology, lymphedema, and women's health therapy. If you found this video helpful, please press the like button down below. Thanks everyone.